What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay guys, so, here we are. This is the episode where I teach you how to trade for different Pokemon in this game, or in in-game for Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. I believe there's one thing different in Pokemon Fire Red, I could be wrong, I don't even know, but yes, this is where I teach you guys, and uh, yeah, I've been saving this episode for quite some time, and uh... Man, I'm, I'm excited. Really, really excited because it's it's quite a few trades here and there, you know, that kind of stuff. So, we're going to be starting off with the very first Pokemon right here, and that is Abra with a Mr. Mime. Of course, we have uh, Razor here for for this occasion because we, we're going to need Cut. So, if you guys remember, we traveled to Route 2 in order to get the Flash technique, and, uh, well, we didn't have the Pokemon needed for... Uh, we didn't have the Pokemon needed to for this trade right here, but if you go into this house, and if you go and talk to this kid with this Game Boy Advance right here, he's gonna be like, I'm looking for an Abra. Wanna trade for Mr. Mime? Heck yes I do. Alright, so let's go, Mr. Mime. So here's trade Pokemon number one right here. Yeah, buddy. So look at that. Now, in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, this is where they introduced the wireless uh, trade concept right here, where you had a little machine on the top of the Game Boy Advance in order for you to trade Pokemon, and then, obviously, you know, 10, 12 years later, it progressed to this right here, Wi-Fi and all that stuff. As you can see, here we have my main, my mine. I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. And he's like, hey, thanks! So let's go ahead and take a look at our very first traded Pokemon, my mine. The Mr. Mime. As you can see, Mr. Mime. The Psychic type Pokemon, it is a very timid Pokemon right here. And it's a uh, special defense is its highest point right here. It's actually very, very, very good with the specials. And uh, of course it does have the soundproof technique, which avoids any kind of sound based move. So, Supersonic, maybe Sonic Boom? I could be wrong, I don't even know. Those won't have effect on my mind right here. And as you can see, it does have Barrier, Confusion, Substitute, and Meditate. If you guys don't remember, in Pokemon Fire Red, when I actually had it here on my channel, I actually had it in my mind in, uh, on my team. Eh, just for the shits and giggles. So the next Pokemon that I'm going to go and get is in Celadon or in Cerulean City. As you can see, I do have a Poliwhirl right here on my team. So all we got to do now is just surf all the way to... not. Mount Moon, but Cerulean City right here, so there we go, flying over there. Now if you guys remember, we gotta go to this house right here. In Pokemon Yellow, you would be able to get a Mr. or a Bulbasaur, but in this place for Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and especially Leaf Green and Fire Red, you'll be able to get a Jinx right here. So talk to this guy, he's like, hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade it for a Jinx? Heck yes I do. So there it is, let's go with the Poliwhirl right here. So there it is guys, we're trading for another Pokemon right here. Poliwhirl, say bye bye. And yes, off screen I did, <laughs> off screen I did go over and capture quite a few Pokemon, trade them up, and uh, and, and evolved them. Um, with the Raichu I actually just trained them up like, I don't know, three more levels just to get to, uh, to Raichu. I obviously used the Thunderstone just to do that. And as you can see, we got ourselves Zinx. Dante sent over Zinx. Look at that. Thanks. He just says thanks. So let's go ahead and take a look at Zinx right here. It actually has mail, so let's go ahead and read it. That's a healthy Jinx. Be kind to it. From Dante. That's nice. So let's go ahead and read this. Zinx, the ice and psychic type Pokemon. Mild in nature. And, uh... Well, as you can see, it's special. It's special attack. It's his highest point right there. Physically, it will go down quickly. Uh, it does have the ability Oblivious, which prevents attraction. And well, look at that. It has Lovely Kiss, Powder Snow, Double Slap, and Ice Punch. And if you guys have a Ditto, you we'd, you would be able to actually uh, breed this for a Smoochum. You can't get it in this one right here, I think. So that's number two. Now we're gonna go into Vermilion City and we're gonna go take care of that whole Spiro thing. So let's go ahead and use that, that fly right here and go straight to Vermilion City. Alrighty. We're flying to Vermilion City. We're gonna be flying to Vermilion City. Now, we all got, like, we have to go to this house right here next to the SSN. And if you talk, actually, that's the wrong house. Well, my bad. My bad, guys. Uh, let's see. If you go to this house, yes, this is the house. 
And you talk to this little girl, she's like, Hi, do you have a Spiro? Want to trade it for a Farfetch? Yes, sir, I do. I mean, yes, ma'am. So let's give it to a... Let's get a trade right here. So this is trade number three, going to Elisa. Or Eli... Yeah, Elisa. Yeah, whatever her name is. And look at that. Oh, yes. Wi-Fi. For the first time back in the early 2000s. Trust me, guys. Back then, this was a big deal. Very, very big deal. This actually came with your Fire Red and Leaf Green game. I don't know if it came in with the Emerald version. Could be wrong. So as you can see, we get a, we get ourselves Chiding. Look at that Pokemon. It's all majestic and all that stuff. And I hear it can evolve in Pokemon uh, Sword and uh, Shield. Comment down below if that's true. So let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Chiding. And as you can see, it is both a normal and flying type Pokemon. Its item is the stick, and it has an adamant nature. As you can see, it has a very, very high uh, physical attack, 22. And it does have the keen eye ability, which prevents loss of accuracy. And its attacks right now, it's peck and sand attack. So this would have been a good Pokemon just to use, uh, you know, cut, fly. You know, use them as an HM slave or some sorts, but also use them as a pretty good Pokemon as well. For me, uh, you know, I kind of like using Charizard instead of a... <laughs> instead of a uh, far-fetched right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be switching out Pokemon right here because we already traded the first three. And uh, I'm gonna go right here. As you can see, here's a Raichu that I actually got. Uh, let's see, switch that, uh, that guy out. Get Slowbro. And then, uh, let's see. Believe it or not, we have to trade both a Nidoran a female and a male or... Oh, wow. Oh, we have to... Yeah, we have to take away the mail. Holy shit. Okay, so hold on. The hell am I doing right here? Okay, yeah. Okay, we gotta shift. Shift this guy right here. And uh, sh shift this person to... Mm, yeah, we, we don't really need this guy right now. And then... Uh, actually, I'm still holding the Pokemon, so... Well, let's go right ahead and take away that mail. We don't really need it right now, so... Take away the mail, take... Okay, it's sent to the PC, and uh, now we gotta go back in this this a-hole right here and move the Pokemon right now. So, let's go ahead and grab this last Pokemon. A lot of you guys were speculating that I was gonna evolve uh, uh, evolve Aaliyah and actually trade him. I would never trade my little girl. Never. Uh-uh, because... Well, my niece would have kicked my butt right here. So, the next Pokemon I gotta trade is close by, so let's go right ahead and use that bike right here. And, uh, believe it's right here in Route 6. I could be wrong. It could be on the next entrance right here, so. Gotta go into the seek or the uh, underground path, talk to this girl. Nope, she, she talks about the how people lose stuff right here. So, we're going into the underground path. Hopefully we get an item here. I don't know. Can we? Maybe? I don't know. Right here. And if you talk to this little girl, she's like, Hi, do you have a Nidoran female? Would it, do you want to trade her for a Nidoran male? Yes, I do. Kind of doesn't make sense right here because, you know, it, these are two Pokemon you can obviously get in the game. I would have preferred this person to just trade me a Nidoran female for, like, I don't know, a Pokemon that I can't get in this version, like uh, Growlithe or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's the Pokemon trainer's think way of thinking. Or in, like, a Pokemon Yellow, you know? Trade a Cubone for a ma uh, Machoke, for a Machamp. So there you go, Mr. Nito is with us. Don't really need this guy right here, but whatever. And she's like, thanks, you're a pal. So, of course, we already have a Nito, like a Nitorino. We already had a Mr. Nito, or, you know, Thrasher. But let's go ahead and check this guy out right here. It's a Lonely Nature, Tiny Mushroom on it. It is a Poison-type Pokemon, if you guys remember. And this guy has Poison Point. And uh, it does have a very good high attack, and its attacks right here is a horn attack. So, if you would have traded for this Pokemon right here, you would have actually gotten a horn attack. And I do remember reading somebody's comment down below saying that if I would have waited just a little bit, then it would have learned horn attack. But you know, I like to, you know, I like to. I'm, I'm really quick to the trigger right here. So let's move on to the next guy right here. So let's see. We got this guy down. Let's go straight to. Let's see. I could be. Let's see. We already got that. Hmm. I wonder if Celadon City has somebody right there. 
No, you know what? Let's go to Fuchsia City first, and then we'll figure it out from here, guys. Let's see. Fuchsia City, how you doing? Now, if you go right here, you're going to be going to close to the, the, the cycling road, and you'll be able to find somebody who's willing to trade you a Lickitung for a Slowbro. And, uh... Well, many of you guys already know, you can't get Lickitung in here except for trade. So go right here, talk to this guy. He's like, I'm looking for a Pokemon Slowbro. Want to trade for my Lickitung? Yes, sir, I do. So Slowbro, say goodbye. Again, been trading and training and all that stuff. And uh, thank the Lord Jeebus. Thank the Lord Arceus for the speed button because, holy crud, this would have taken me a long time just to do. So we're exchanging Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's see what we get. Look at that. Pokeball. And here we have Mark. Hayden sends us Mark Anthony, the singer. <laughs> Mark Anthony. So, hey, thanks! Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. So, Mark, what are you doing? So, let's see. Mark, the normal type Pokemon, relaxed nature, doesn't have any item on it. It has its own tempo to ability, which prevents confusion, and it is a very, very defensive Pokemon. And let's see right here. So it does have some good moves. Knock off, stomp, wrap, and disable. Uh, of course, it's known for its uh, lick attack right here. So now, let's see, I gotta find that person that would trade for a neat arena, which to me is kind of like, why would you trade for a neat arena if you already trade for a neat arena? I don't even know. Alright, let's... Let's see if we can find that person. I, I better just, you know, ride my bicycle. Ride the bicycle. Here we go. And, uh, let's see. I think it's right here somewhere. Nope, not right here. Obviously, I kind of don't remember where everybody's at. So, let's, uh, let's see. We probably should be going to... Let's see. I'm going to be going to... Lavender Town right here. Okay. Gotta love your Pokemon with uh, Fly Attack. It's always good to have that. Oh, actually, you know what? Could be wrong. It's right here. I just realized it. We have to go right here. And we're talking to everybody, saying hi, all that stuff. And, uh, well, you go in here. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Not right there. Really? Huh. Where was it? Where was that area? Holy crud, I, I'm starting to like draw a blank right here, guys. I'm sorry. I I am trying not to freaking prolong this whole thing right here. So let's see. Talk to this guy? Nope, not this guy. Okay, so I was right about being close over to the area right here. Let's see. Back to Lavender Town. Jeez. Come on, Draven. Figure it out. Alright, I hate this I hate this song, I really do. It's just like it creeps me the hell out. Alright, so going to Route 12, you go right here. And uh well, let's see if you talk to this lady right here. So I've talked to her. Nope. Okay, so there is one more location that I'm gonna try. And that is close to where that we found that Snorlax, so let's go right ahead and do that now. If we can only like maneuver this whole bike here so let's go right ahead find this person see where she's at or he or whatever right here let's see could be right here okay so let's talk to this guy I'm looking for a Pokemon need arena wanna trade for my need arena yes sir I do again why would you like uh, yeah, why would you trade the evolutionary line of Nidorino and Nidorina? I guess it's because, like, you know, it's very, very rare in this game. It really didn't take me that long because I have the speed button. It, but if it wasn't a regular game, of course, I, I, I get it. I get it now. It just seems a little moot just bringing in both Nidorino and Nidoran. Uh, Nidoran male onto this game as a trade, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, we get ourselves Nino right here. Okay, and I'm going to take care of Nino right here. Alrighty. And he's like, hey, thanks! Alright, let's go ahead and see what's so special about this Pokemon. So here we have Nidorino, poison Pokemon. Of course, it's bold nature. And it has poison point as its ability. And we all know it's a physical attacker. But right here, it's uh, very defensive and its speed is right there with it. 
And uh, yeah, there's really, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing as the Nidoran, the Nidoran male. So again, why would you, why would you uh, trade two of the same Pokemon in the same evolutionary line? I, I just don't get it. Whatever. It's Pokemon, it's Nintendo, whatever. So the last few Pokemon that I need to trade happens to be in Cinnabar Island. So now we're going to be going right here and trading all these Pokemon just to complete this whole visual of uh, what to find and what to do right here. So if you go in here into the lab, you'll be able to go into the first room and you'll find two trainers who are willing to trade Pokemon. Now this guy right here first will want to trade you for a Raichu. A Raichu for an Electrode. So I'm going to do that. Of course, this is not Aaliyah. This is a different Raichu that I actually have. So there you go. Sending this Raichu to Clifton. Now, you could catch a Raichu in the Cerulean Cave, but I didn't really want to wait that long. So knowing that you can actually buy Thunderstones right there and capture a Pikachu real quick. You know, I, did, I just didn't really want to wait for like a level 60 uh, Raichu. So here it is. Switching it out. And, uh, well, hello, hello, Esphere. Look at that. Different Pokemon. Take good care of my Esphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this Pokemon out right here. Esphere. Level 30 electric type Pokemon. It has a hasty nature. And, uh, it does have a static technique. And, uh, let's see, its speed is, speed is pretty good. Special attack is pretty good right there, too. So it's much as, it's pretty much a special attacker. And, uh, well, it does have normal electric type attack, screech, sonic boom, spark, and self-destruct right here. So that's pretty much it for that guy. Now, let's go ahead and talk to this girl right here. And she's like, hi, do you have a Venonap? Want to trade it for a Tangela? Yes, I do. Now, you can actually capture a Tangela close to Pallet Town. Uh, Route 22, I believe. But it takes a while just to find that Pokemon. But if you guys don't want to waste the time trying to find Tangela, then go ahead and trade a Venonat for a Tangela. As you can see, trading it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. And boom. There it is. Tangini or Tangini. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. How do you guys pronounce Tangela? Do I, I say Tangela. A lot of people uh, say Tangela. I don't even know. And she's like, oh, thanks, you're a pal. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to, let's see, what, what does this Pokemon have? It does have a Stardust, has a sassy nature, and it is a Grass-type Pokemon. Its stats are pretty good, it's very defensive on the physical side, its special attack is pretty good too. And like most uh, Grass-type Pokemon, it does have Chlorophyll and raises its speed in Sunshine. And right here, it does have Absorb, Growth, Poison Powder and Vine Whip. So this is another Pokemon that you could probably you could probably use in your in your uh, in your game right here. So that is pretty much it. Now let's see. I could be wrong. It could be this guy right here. Uh, one of the two right here. Actually, in Pokemon Leaf Green. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, you can trade a Ponyta for a, a a a Seal. I could be wrong, or vice versa. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. That's why the comments are right there. Anywho, that is pretty much the the whole episode right here on where to find the trade Pokemon. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, next episode, we will be continuing our adventure right here in Kanto. Hopefully, we get something good out of it, right? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.